Hello everybody, welcome back. Taking a look at another MRE today. Uh, this one is from 2014, and menu number 8, meatballs and marinara sauce, packaged by the Warning Company. Let's go ahead and get this one started. Get that peel will seal. Get right into business. Alright, so we've got some uh, plain tortillas. Ooh, there we go. Apple cinnamon first strike bar. These are always really good. Beef snack strip, so some jerky. Very nice. This one's turning out to be uh, sounding really good. Got our accessory pack. Trusty MRE spoon. Nice. Jalapeno cheese spread. God, I think this one was, uh, <laughs> reading my mind. It's got, like, a lot of my favorites in it already. Okay, what do we got there? We got some au gratin potatoes. Interesting. That should be a good side. <clears throat> Orange beverage base powder in the small package. There is our Flamus ration heater. Got a hot beverage bag. There's our sleeve with all our nutrition facts on our, uh, eh, I don't know, yeah, it does, it, sorry, it does have both of them there. Um, and then finally, our meatballs in marinara sauce. I guess I didn't really look at any of the date codes on any of these, so, I'm <laughs> sorry. We do have a 118th day of 2014 on here, so <clears throat> indeed uh, 2014. Let's go ahead and get our meatballs and our potatoes heating up here in our flameless ration heater. Generally, I kind of like to see how, how uh, everything's working. But it uh, seems like I've, I've always kind of went with the old two-in-one scenario with these. Uh, but every now and again, I, I, uh, I kind of distance myself from that. Sometimes two packages in here just doesn't work out to be a good method. <clears throat> but regardless, I live in the moment. So we'll see what the moment brings. But uh, just try and get the water in between our fill lines there. And a little lower fillage. <clears throat> so we're going to lay this flat to get the water inside the heating elements, get it to engage, and then from there, see where our potatoes get in there. <clears throat> this uh, particular um, case has had a, a really good run of uh, flameless ration heaters. <clears throat> All of them seem to have engaged really nicely. This one's getting nice and hot. Feel the bubbling. I don't know if you can hear the hear it starting to blast off, so let's see if we can't shove our potatoes down in here real quick. Come on. Come on, potatoes. <laughs> well, it's sort of in there. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and we will uh, put this in our sleeve. Maybe and better than normal, and then we will go ahead and set it up against a rock or something, and let that heat so we can uh, try and get a little bit of a warm meal. So we'll get out our tray here. Let's just start uh, getting into some of our stuff. So we have our beef snack strip. That did have a date code of the 97th day of 2014. These come in their uh, <clears throat> own individual wrapped packages. You just tear through those. It's just a little, kind of like a jerky strip like you'd find at the, uh, the gas station. 
Got our first strike bar, apple cinnamon flavored. I've had this one, it's pretty good. Um, a lot of times it seems like you get chocolate, but the apple cinnamon bar is also very tasty. They're kind of uh, sticky. They've got like that crisp rice in there, which is nice for texture. But they're kind of like a blob uh, for the most part. Just saying. Got some plain tortillas. And those were from the 50th day of 2014. All right. So a little bit stuck together. Yeah. <laughs> They're still decently pliable. Yeah, you always have that fault line there. Because obviously they're folded over and compress packed. But uh, they seem to be in, in pretty good shape. We got our cheese spread. So I guess we have like some cheesy tortillas with meatballs. And I guess you could mix all that together. But I do, if, if I were to get a cheese spread, I would generally prefer it to be the jalapeno one. Just because I think, uh, <clears throat> you know, it, it gives it a little bit more taste than, uh, like, your your processed cheese taste, which you would traditionally just get out of the, the normal cheese spread. So, squirt a couple of alien signs on there. <laughs> and let's, uh, let's open our accessory pack real quick, shall we? First step, we got our toilet paper, packet of salt, moist towelette, interesting, Splenda. Normally you get just a regular packet of white sugar, but every now and again you'll get a package of Splenda. I'm not a big artificial sweetener person, but uh, you know, okay. Our non-dairy creamer, and then our the old Type 3 Instant freeze-dried coffee and a pack of gum nice hard <laughs> chiclets of gum there <clears throat> so um yeah let's go ahead and, and we'll make up our drink here real quick we have our um, orange beverage base powder here which I, I do like the orange um, it seems like I've gotten a, a big run of tropical fruit punch which there's nothing wrong with tropical fruit punch I would just rather have some more variety. <laughs> so again, as always, half canteen, uh, half a canteen, canteen cup. My God, I couldn't say that to save my life. Which is about 12 ounces. Um, generally, as I say, have said in the past, I tend to water these down a little bit more. So you're probably, I'm probably using about 18 ounces of water for one of these. Tastes fine to me. But uh, I would say just uh, figure out your taste for these powders <clears throat> and then, um, you know, add water accordingly. But like I said, I add a little bit more, sometimes up to 20 ounces of water because I just don't, I don't need that super strong uh, taste that these powders can provide. But that's just me. And you'll see these regular beverage-based powders they do tend to uh, <clears throat> not mix as well, but I'm getting a lot of orange smell, even from, you know, distance that, I, that I'm at to the cup. There's a lot of uh, good orangey smell, uh, which, is, which is always nice. Smell is, uh, is very important to food. If uh, something doesn't smell good, then it's probably not good. Sorry, French food. <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding. But seriously, some uh, smell is a is a lot of what we take into account in how we eat. So it's always good to have something that smells reminiscent of goodness. Let's get our coffee going. Went ahead and just uh, preheated a little bit of water here. You know, instant coffee isn't anything to uh, <clears throat> excuse me to go crazy over, but it's okay. You know, again, it's a creature comfort, and uh, it's nice to have when you're just out and about. So add our coffee, and our creamer, and 
And because we have it, our Splenda. Again, like I said, not huge on Splenda, but it's there. I'll just go ahead and mix that up real quick. And that does give off a nice aroma as well. I know I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but I do appreciate the smell of coffee. There you go. Awesome. So we pretty much went through everything. Our, our entree, I'm getting some decent heat here at the bottom. I'm hoping that that's all translating to the, to the entire side and entree. Because like I said, I kind of just jammed this uh, side in there the best I could. So um, I'm sure it'll get warm. But we're going to let that go for a little bit longer just to make sure we have enough good heat in it. And let's go ahead and just try a little bit about of what we have on the plate. Starting with our beef snack strip. Always enjoy these. Nice and salty. They break clean. So you're not tugging at it. It's um, a relatively soft chew. So, but yeah, it's always good. Never had a problem with those. Let's try a little bit of our, <laughs> our bar here, playing with my food. What am I, 10? Maybe I am. I don't know. That was also good. Um, definitely get that cinnamon taste. Um, notes of apple. Crisp rice, which is nice for texture. It's like if you ever had like a, like a power bar. Um, they're usually just really, kind of limp and lame, <laughs> and there's really no texture to them. But what's nice about first strike bars, is that they put that textural component in there, so it's uh, it's just, it's just nicer. Texture is always good to have. Got our tortilla with our cheese spread. I'm gonna attempt to just sort of nip off a, an end of this. Smear my cheese a little bit. <clears throat> Have a little cheese taco. Mm. I'm telling you, <clears throat> they should just put the jalapeno cheese spread in everything. I'd be a happy man. <clears throat> I don't know what it is about it. It just tastes better than, than the other cheese spreads. Like, you, you'll have your uh, regular, obviously, and then, like, the bacon cheese spread. Jalapeno. Number one. Let's have to try a little bit of that. <clears throat> Let's go to a drink. Try our orange beverage base powder. <sighs> yep, nice and refreshing. Like I said... You know, I like to water it down, so you just get the little kick of orange, which I enjoy. Let's try a little sip of our coffee, too. <sighs> this Splenda definitely does show up a lot more than regular sugar, so it makes it taste a little sweeter. It's still instant coffee, so <laughs> don't get too excited, guys. But it's it, again, it's it's not bad. It's it's very standard coffee. It's okay. We basically tried everything. Let's go ahead and uh, get our entree and side out here. See how this heater did. Like I said, this this case that I bought, and these were all part of a case. Um, the heaters have had been really really nice, and I do feel a lot of nice heat here. I, I think I think I think it did well. I mean, I think it really did uh, did nicely. I'm hoping. Let's go ahead and start. Ouch. <laughs> it's still pretty hot to the touch. Meatballs feel good and warm. So, yeah, I don't know. I think it, it must have done a pretty good job. You know, these heaters are about two years old now, so uh, yeah, it did well. Okay. 
So like I said, I got my meatballs out first. Sauce in there. They got some decent sized little little meatballs in there. Oh. The heater's still hissing at me, so must still have a little bit more life in it. <clears throat> Good job, heater. And obviously the, these heaters are not meant to boil. They're not meant to, you know, be, you know, get things like super hot. They're just, they're meant to, to warm. All this stuff is ready to eat, so you don't need the heater. It's just nice to have a, have a you know, a warm meal. So yeah, these didn't get super hot on this side, which is, would have been the side that was laying upwards. The bottom is fine. I'm just trying to mix it up a little bit, distribute the heat. Maybe <laughs> I think I'm fighting a somewhat losing battle. I've, maybe I should have just put this on the outside, but uh, you know, live you learn. You have a little bit of fun. Some nice scallop cut potatoes in there. And the old debate: <clears throat> Are they all gratin or are they scallop potatoes? I don't feel like fighting about it today, so we'll just call them potatoes. All right. Yeah, that's a good little side of those. Cool beans, guys. There is... Here's our main inside. Let's go ahead and start with these potatoes. Get some starch in my life. There we go. Go. Yeah. Pretty good. Cheesy, salty, starchy. That's a good little potato. Get in one of these meatballs and try one whole. Bombs away. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Sauce is uh, definitely very tomatoey. Meatballs are very dense, packed, beef, maybe <laughs> maybe some other stuff in there. Kind of reminds you of school lunches. But yeah, very good. I Yeah, I've enjoyed this meal actually uh, quite a bit more than what I thought I would have. You know, you kind of get the whole, ah, it's going to be meatballs and marinara. And then all of a sudden you're getting a lot of other stuff. Let's try a meatball with our jalapeno cheese spread in a tortilla shell. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Very good idea. Jalapeno cheese spread can go with about anything. Put it on the first strike bar. Maybe not. But all right, guys, that was the uh, menu number e eight, meatballs and marinara sauce, mother MRE. I appreciate everybody uh, taking a look at the videos and would uh, continue and encourage any sort of liking or commenting and, of course, subscribing to the channel. So I uh, hope you enjoy what you've seen and y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.